Hey, welcome to this week's frequency upgrade entitled, Surprise, There Is No Secret. So as we're shifting the focus of Control Room into more business-related content, lessons on growing your business, there's gonna be a lot of tactics and strategies, but in this video, I just wanna really get it back down to the basics, down to the core of what matters and what will stand the test of time. Now in every business, people are trying to sell you tricks one one time quick fix solutions so in audio it's you know the new interface the new mic the new compressor the new plugin especially um, even the new course okay even the new uh, mixing technique for controlling the bass whatever it is there's all these little tricks these little hacks trying to get you ahead trying to get you to that next level whatever that is it's the same in social media and in marketing and the stuff that I do with these courses and these videos there's always a trick you know it's to do the webinar or to do uh, the launch videos or to uh, run the Facebook ads or to be on Instagram stories or whatever there's always a new you know the latest hot trend the latest trick to help you make more money and, and grow your business right in every industry we do this whether it's in the studio online stuff, social media, the next platform, whatever it is, you get the point, right? There's always, you know, a focus on the, like these tactics of what's working right now and what you need to do right now before it's too late. And a lot of these tricks and these, these new hot trends, they're often portrayed as being like, finally, here's the secret to actually reaching success. But in every business, it's also true that there really is no secret at the very core foundation of this business of me selling you guys information and trying to teach you guys, what does it come down to? The quality of the products and the information that I'm putting out there. You know, if I'm, if I'm really good at Instagram or Facebook ads or marketing, it really doesn't matter in the long term if people end up buying my courses and they suck. And if people don't get any real results from them, it doesn't matter. My business is gonna fail regardless of how many of these other tactics I employ. And so the ultimate trick, the ultimate hack in this industry and any others, but definitely in creative industries like making records is simply this, doing good work consistently. That's it. That's the hack. That is the path to success. That is the core. And you know, the new tactics, the new plugin, the new, the new gear, like sure, that stuff can help. It can help you, you know, increase your quality bit by bit. It's all, it's good to learn all that stuff. And it's good to have a pulse on what's working and what's popular right now so that you can reach more people. But if you're not building those things on top of the core foundation of just doing good work day in and day out, then eventually your business, your reputation, all of that is just gonna crumble and it's gonna be washed away. And along with just doing good work consistently, it's also the customer experience that I talked about in a prior frequency upgrade about why bands really come back. And that, again, that's also true in any business. Think of the things that you buy and the things that you go and spend money for, whether it's a restaurant, a haircut, uh, a phone, the phone you choose. The customer experience, the experience that you have dealing with that company has an enormous impact on how long you're gonna stick with them. You know, it could be if something even goes wrong with the product and you have like maybe a bad, a faulty phone or something, how is the company gonna handle the support process? How easy is it to get someone on the phone? How, you know, how fast are they gonna replace your product and how, how much hassle are they gonna give you? That all matters too. So think about how you want to be treated as a customer of any other business and then make sure that you're treating people the same way in your studio. And so those two ingredients, like number one, having a good product, i.e. doing good work in the studio, and then just being a solid, reliable person who provides a good experience for your clients, those are the two pillars that you need to build your entire business on. And we'll talk about the tactics, you know, what to put on your website, how to reach out to clients. That, yes, that stuff is important, it is helpful, it is useful, but those things will adapt and they will change as technology changes and as, as taste changes out in the world and things are always moving forward, right? But those, those core pillars, I mean, you can probably look back as far back as business history goes, and any successful company that has lasted, even any successful one person who has made a, a solid lifelong career, they are basically honoring those two pillars and following those two principles, and that's why they've been able to last. You've got to be able to consistently deliver a result, a final product that at least meets and hopefully exceeds the expectations of the customer. Think of how happy you are when you buy a new computer or a new product or anything that it is, and it actually is even better than you thought. Like you're a lifelong customer at that point. It's the same with the artists and the bands that you record 
in your studio. And actually, I attribute a large part of my success in the audio world, in the record making world, with not having any sort of special raw talent. I think there's actually a lot of people out there who maybe had better raw talent than me and actually got better faster. But the reason that they all fell away while I stayed and continued to get better and better projects is because I was just willing to put in the extra work that they weren't. You know, when a band came in and they couldn't play their instruments, I took the extra time, I worked with them to create a killer end product regardless. I exceeded their expectations. I tried to exceed expectations every single time. I never had a band say they were not happy with the end result. I always put in the extra time even when it was difficult. But if you can think long term and realize that that's what's actually driving your whole career, your whole business, your whole reputation and livelihood, then you know it's, it's an easy choice to put in that time in the short term. See, I think most people fail in this business and really any industry because they focus on all the tactics and the tricks without actually having any core foundation of a solid product and doing good work consistently. And they just give up too early. So they don't, you know, even if they are focusing on the right things, that stuff takes time. It takes time to build that, that, uh, that snowball to a big size where it's really gathering momentum. It takes time. So a lot of people just quit too early because they don't see the meteoric rise right away. And so it's the people who can actually keep that consistency going week after week, month after month, year after year. They're the ones that are gonna stand the test of time. They're gonna still be there when all the other people who you know, went to audio college and then started their own studio and closed up shop one or two years later because it was too hard. Like they're all gonna fall away. I've seen it happen in my scene. I've seen it happen in all these other scenes. You have to be willing to stay consistent over the long term, treat people well, and provide a good experience. So I know this video, it probably is not having like a, a major lightning bolt impact on you. There's not like a big aha or a new strategy that you're gonna go out and implement right now. But I just want you to realize that anything else that I teach you here, any mixing trick, recording uh, technique, uh, any business trick or strategy, whatever it is, it's useful, but realize that it's built on this foundation and you have to have this foundation or else all this stuff will change and it will get all washed away. So to boil it all down, it couldn't be more basic. Here's what it comes down to. Do good work and do your best consistently. Treat people how you wanna be treated and put in the effort and the time it takes to continue getting better and better and better. And you're gonna reap the rewards while everyone else falls away. Do that and you're gonna stand out and also last longer than 95% of everyone else who is trying to do this. So I hope that lights a fire for you and one that you can keep burning for a long time so that success can really show up. All right, take care.